Hello and welcome to this Hello World tutorial. This video is intended for new Logi developers and guides you through the process of building a simple Logi Info application. This tutorial assumes that you have the requirements listed here. If you have all of these requirements, let's get started. Begin by launching your Logi Studio application. You can either click its desktop icon or find it using the search bar in your computer. Type in Logi and the Logi Studio application will appear. Right click the application and click Run as Administrator. A user account control box will appear asking if you want to allow the application to make changes to your device. Select Yes. The application will open. You can close the Getting Started dialog box and you will see the Logi Studio homepage. In the upper left hand corner, Click New Application in the Welcome panel. Logi Studio is capable of producing both .NET and Java web applications. For this tutorial, we'll select the .NET application, but you can see in the notes on this video for instructions specific to making a Java application. You will then need to choose a name for your application. Enter the name Hello World. Make sure there is not a space between the two words and that the H in Hello and W in World are capitalized. Choose a location for the new Hello App World application folder. If you're using the IIS web server, for simplicity, use the default. And the wizard will create the new Logi application folder there. Click OK to create the application. The progress indicator, shown above, will appear and required subfolders and files will be created in your Hello World folder. You can wait for it to fully load. Once it is finished loading, the Prepare New Application Wizard will start. The next step is to configure the basic application settings and register it with your web server. Click Next. The wizard will now run the web server diagnostics and configure your application, which is described in the dialog box shown here. Click Next. The results of the diagnostic tests will be displayed. The failure of any test indicates that something is wrong with your web server's environment's ability to run the new application. This could be caused by a number of things, such as failing to install the new Logi version as an administrator, or having incorrect file permissions on the application folder, or failing to have the correct version of .NET installed. Contact Logi support for assistance. If all results are OK, click Next. Next, you'll be asked to select a theme for your application. Use the default, Signal, and click Next. Then enter a caption for the application. We will title this application Hello World. This title can have spaces. When you are finished, click Next. When the wizard prompts you to create a data visualization, click Cancel. In Studio's application panel, in the upper left-hand corner, Find and double-click the default report definition. It will open in the center of the screen in the Workspace panel. Now you can add different elements, shown on the right-hand side of your page. The only element automatically included was body. For this example, we will add style, report header, and report footer. First, double-click style. Then click default again to access the other options. Follow the same process for report header and report footer. You can reorder the elements by dragging and dropping them. The green dot will show you their new placement. There's a hierarchy of elements. If you want, you can add elements under these parent elements. In the default definition, right click the body element. Click general elements. There are many choices here of different ways you can customize this element. Click the Label menu item to add a label element to the definition. You can also add elements the way we added them before, by using the menu on the right side of the page. Clicking Body and then clicking Label will add a label to the same place. You can then de delete this label by right-clicking and clicking Delete. Click the Label element and in the Attributes panel, Enter the text Hello World in the caption attribute. Then, in the class attribute, select Theme Text Largest from the pull down list of style class options. 
Finally, click the Preview tab at the bottom of the Workspace panel to save your definition and run the default report. Your Hello World message should be displayed as shown above. Congratulations on completing your first Logi report. As you can see, creating your first application is very simple. Thank you for joining us today and feel free to reach out to the Logi support team with any questions. Thank you.